Oh no, the, there's a door on the floor. Door. Like this. Like this. Oh yeah, yeah. You have to it's rotate. The, you have yeah, to rotate okay. the screen before you come yes, here. Yes. So how can I do that? So go back. Okay. Yeah. Before you start the stream, turn the screen. Turn the screen. And yeah. then start. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. How do that? So before you start the screen, how, turn, how do that? turn it sideways. Then. And now set it up. Ah, uh, now? Now set it up, yeah. Now? Like this? So now I set The screen has to come round. train station and this time it's not Terry Miles that is the superstar playing today how's the sound how's the quality put five times five in the chat if everything's all right Uh, there's a door in the ground. You know why they do that? Maybe because of, you know, they can make a lot of sound. Just because. I'm just going to walk around to see where there's good reception. Right. No. Ah, he is perfect. And uh, Joe Black, I'll uh, let him know now. Hey, uh, someone in the chat has said uh, go to advanced settings, orientations, and that will that will bring the, the phone sideways. Okay. But I don't know uh, iPhone. Advanced settings. I don't have no idea, guys, because uh, did Joe, they hear me? Joe Black, how does he find the advanced? Uh, advanced yeah. settings this is crazy man uh, tell him uh, i i just uh, bought this uh, recently uh, i have only the, um, uh, samsung and samsung i know how to do it but with this iphone i don't have an idea yeah 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 this uh, uh, iphone uh, 15 pro max the, uh, the, the last one for some reason the connection is really crap here um,
Hello everyone that has just joined the stream. Hello JD. Hello to everyone in the chat. Let's uh, kick the algorithm and get more people in here. And by doing that, let's all bash the like button and put one in the chat and I'll give everyone a shout that smashes a one in the chat and bashes the like. The first one of the day, hello to Wayne Jackson. Hello buddy, hope you're well. Hello, mum of Milo. Hope you well. Yes, Mr. Joe Black. Yes, JD. everybody for putting one in the chat for bashing the like button uh, if you can share the stream get it out there that I'll be live today uh, Brendan will be here on you uh, will be here playing the piano uh, at two o'clock was the uh, time promoted by Brendan be at King Quest station at two o'clock so I'm here Flat chested female, fantastic. <laughs> Jensen, your soul is mine. So I'm reporting live at King's Cross Station, St Pancras in London. But today it's not a protest, it is a musical live stream featuring Brandon Kavanagh. Check him out on YouTube guys. Maria C, yes we're back in King's Cross and today's celebrity guest on the piano is none other than Brandon Kavanagh, Dr. K on YouTube. Check him out on YouTube, guys. Wednesday's live stream featured Terry Miles. Today's live stream will feature Brendan Kavanagh. guys until Brandon Kavanagh is here the scheduled time of two o'clock why 
while we're waiting for Brendan Kavanaugh to show his face guys let's all put one in the chat if we've bashed the like button and I'll give you a shout oh he said the, the advanced settings I don't know how to do that. is just on the page where you start live go, go to the just, just before you go press start now go to that page here Okay, so uh, advanced settings, huh? yeah. and then uh, vertical stream, yeah, horizontal, yeah, that's it, yeah, and then now go back. Oh, amazing! And, see people run, so, huh? and then before you start, before you go live, turn the camera around and then press live. Ah. Yeah. So now we know. Yeah. I take, I turn the phone like this, and after that I print. Yeah. So uh, um, go back. Let's just try it now. Okay. Okay, now go okay, sideways. One second, one second to go to uh, select the foundation. No, yeah. Okay, and now? And now go sideways. Ah, you see, it's okay. It's ah, working already. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's working already. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. We know now. Joe Black, you're a legend. We found it. Fantastic old chap. Oh, we've got some ones in the chat. Hello HKSV. Hello David G. Hello D Wit. Greeting Switzerland, Daring34, hello from the London UK, King's Cross St Pancras, live in London for a, a piano stream, musical stream featuring London. Please um, promote Dr K. Boogie Woogie, Brendan Kavanaugh, please. Thank you. So far, 75. Oh, Are they waiting for the. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What is his name? I forget his name. Brendan. Brendan. Brendan Kavanaugh. Brendan. 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 Hello, Lady Va. Greetings from Germany. Don't touch her when uh, Brendan starts playing. Yeah. One class, no? Yeah, that's it. Uh, while we're all waiting, for the um, featured superstar of the day, let's all the if you can all smash the like button, put one in the chat, and I'll give you a shout. Whoa! There we go, guys. The uh the piano is now available for uh, for, for someone to play. Don't start another international incident. 
Uh, the lady is going to place our uh, our blocker. I know, I know a bit of left hand boogie woogie, but that's about it. Hello, Dennis. Bigfoot from across the pond. Yeah, remember if you want to do it sideways, don't start it. Oh yeah, I yeah. just travelled four hours by bus hoping one of them was going to be playing. <laughs> Ho uh, hopefully uh, he comes today, he was yeah. promoted today. So, uh, uh, hopefully he hasn't sticked us all up. We'll see. <laughs> Brandon? Brandon, you said? Oh, yeah. Brandon. 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 Mr. Brandon. 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 From California. Yes, um... It's up to two o'clock now, guys. Let's fellas. fellas anywhere. Hello, Andrew Piano. We're waiting for Brendan Kavanagh. Hello, Jason from San Diego. Uh, Chris, um, yeah, I've bought the same tripod here today. And before before starting the stream, I went to this um, reception and I did ask them uh, if I can get permission to open the legs of the tripod. And he said no. I need to write to the press office. Uh, they gave me emails and all the. the contact details to get in contact with them so I have to write an email for then for me to have some sort of permission yeah Sorry about the buffering guys, there might be trains going past.
touch her. England. Right. Okay. okay, I've learned so much about Chinese culture prepared. So, if you want to know why I'm holding Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh has been banned by the CCP as being subversive. Apparently, if you want to undermine authoritarianism, okay? And this piano has inadvertently become a symbol of artistic freedom. And I would say, even though the situation we had uh, in the station had its comic elements, it had some serious issues undermining it. This video has gone all over the world. As I said, it's taken from And anyone who suffered from uh, oppression, um, the people who were involved in the video, we all know who they are. They are living Western lifestyles, but having a communist authoritarian ideology a complete paradox and I think this video has shown in an entertaining and accessible way what these authoritarian cultures are like when they meet Western cultures. It was a clash of cultures this video, a clash of cultures in a 10 minute drama, a mini parable 
about freedom, artistic freedom, this piano has become a CCP free zone. Yesterday, there was people from Hong Kong here, God bless Hong Kong, glory be to Hong Kong, and the people who put on the Hong Kong video, their YouTube channel was immediately deleted. The whole YouTube, just because they sang Glory to Hong Kong, which again has been banned by the CCP. Now, I've learned so much in the past two days, uh, but I completely support the arts to undermine authoritarianism. So as I said, God bless you all. Thank you for supporting this video. And uh, remember that the arts, even popular arts like Boogie Woogie, Rock and Roll and Winnie the Pooh, have the ability to undermine authoritarian cultures. It's not just political activism, it's actually the arts which care. they are afraid of. Winnie, ZZ is frightened of Winnie. Can you believe it? The, the Red Army is frightened of Winnie the Pooh because what they were doing, they were comparing ZZ to Winnie. They said that he looked a bit similar. ZZ's feelings were hurt. And so he banned Winnie the Pooh completely from mainland China. So Winnie the Pooh has also become a symbol of freedom, artistic expression in the face of unjust authoritarianism. So this event, even though it was comic, even though Nasty Newton has become a meme, it, it was the Streisand effect par excellence this video. You all know the Streisand effect. The Streisand effect is when you try and keep something quiet and it has the opposite effect. This video is the epitome of the Streisand effect. Nasty Newton, we all know who they are. He has become famous. Apparently he's been in the and being lost, but he's all off. We want to hate them. God bless them. I completely forget, forgive and forget. But if you act in an authoritarian way, your karma is not too long in catching up with you. So, I am here to support artistic freedom. I'm not into politics, I'm not a politician, but I am into the arts, I am, in, I am into musical expression, and this is quite authoritarian. For goodness sake, you're a dictator and you're frightened of Winnie the Pooh. Uh, I'm my, my goodness. So, God bless you all. Uh, Glory to Hong Kong. I totally support the Taiwanese and I totally support artistic expression. This piano was tried to express the little pink, okay? And I think if you don't know what little pink means, look it up. So God bless you all. This has been a blow for artistic freedom. This piano has become a CCP, little pink free zone. God bless you all. Thank you for supporting the video. And that's it. Oh. That's it, alright, alright, how you doing? Alright, how you doing? Anyway, I'm off. Anyone got any questions? I'm about to get off. Well, that was it, that was my video. You want to make a picture? Oh, yeah. I have a vlog. Uh, guys in the chat, do we have any questions for Brendan? Any, any questions? Because I'm going to be yes. uh, Someone is playing the very popular song yesterday. What do you think? Do you support I, 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 of, of course. I mean, I, I saw the video yesterday of the people here who were singing Roy's Hong Kong, and I do know that their YouTube channel, their whole YouTube channel was deleted. So they came here, sang that beautiful song, and within a few hours, their YouTube channel, not just the, the video, but the whole channel was deleted. What is going on? Um, that uh, in, in, in Great Britain, if you've seen Roy for Hong Kong, your YouTube channel has been deleted. So I think this brings up the ignorance of CCP power in Western countries. Again, I'm not a politician. I'm not a politician. I don't want to be a politician. I always cringe when new people get involved in politics. But I've been just thrust into the middle of this. Or my, my, my goal is that people should have the freedom to express themselves how they want without being deleted, without being cancelled, without being threatened, without being shouted at, without being thrown into the camps, without being in fear of their life. And we've shown, and we, we've seen yesterday, even at the piano, the glory to Hong Kong people, that uh, they've been deleted and cancelled, which is probably the channel was, was cancelled.
So, but I, I, my attitude, I'm, I'm absolutely not let them. Do I feel insecure about what? Um, so, oh yeah, I mean, when this first happened, there was all sorts of conspiracy going around. Because, as you know, in the video, the lady said, don't shoot him, don't shoot him. And it's not a conspiracy theory to realise that there are CCP spies, Chinese spies, operating in the UK. First of all, the theory was that the, the shouty guy was, was actually a handler. It turns out that we, know, we all know who he is, I'm not going to mention him, but uh, he seems pretty low level. He's made a global fool of himself. Um, but I have had people saying that I should no, say that I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling suicidal and I'm feeling quite... How you doing, mate? How you doing, darling? All right? Um, yeah. So, yeah, I'm not feeling suicidal. I'm in good health. And, uh, yeah, initially there was a few people who were very frightened for me. Um, and there was all sorts of double meanings in the video, but I think we found out who's involved and they seem to be basically little pinks enjoying a Western lifestyle while retaining the communist authoritarian ideology. So no, I'm not in danger. I don't plan on going to China anytime soon though, I must tell you. Sorry, can you leave this station please? You do, you're not yes, allowed uh -huh. to do this. this Oh, it's wow. alright, it's alright, let it talk, let it talk, let it talk. Right. See, here we've got somebody else saying I'm not. It's alright darling, you've got freedom of expression. <laughs> have another incident. Right, she's, right, here we go. So we've got somebody else now calling the police. Uh, we're not allowed to do this. We've already completed the CCP. You can make this up, could you? We've got someone getting the police already. Anyway, next question. Any more questions? What's next? Yeah, what's next? As I said, I've cancelled my tour of China uh, on, on advice of the country. So I Without permission, if you're not doing something illegal, if you're not doing something that's a danger and it's, a, it's bringing joy to people, you should be allowed to do it. But some people, even that lady there, is just threatened by the fact that if you turn up, there's a few cameras here and she says you're not allowed to do this. So my thing is, I'm just going to continue supporting free music, I'm going to continue supporting the arts, I'm actually going to educate myself about the Chinese and Indian and Chinese situation. I have to stress, I'm not a politician, I don't want to be into politics, I'm all about artistic freedom. And this video that we did, that's gone viral all around the world, has been a mini parable about artistic freedom. Elton's piano has become a symbol of freedom of expression. Who would have thought it? So I'm just going to continue as well, doing my thing, encouraging others to do their thing, and also encourage to to look into the Chinese situation, the situation at the time when we to look at the situation in Hong Kong, because we're not, I wasn't familiar with it until I faced the front of the little things. So investigate it, let's keep the arts free, I'm just going to continue our culture in the Western world, and opposing any authoritarian ideologies that seek to manage it. I'm not telling you that because uh, I want to... <laughs> It's a secret, I'm keeping, I, I, it just in case, I, I, I have had a few people saying to me, I, I should just keep my location, we'll be quiet until things settle down, so I'm not saying, I turn up like a <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a yeah. question, the stress bit first came up in the first two days, because I didn't know what we were doing, because I didn't an ambiguity in the video. The issue about the video was when we were shooting the video, halfway through, we know the lady with the I know her name, but I'm not going to say her name. She 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 shouted, oh God bless. She shouted, don't shoot him, don't shoot him. And like the idea was going round and I got it from Chinese people that he could have been a diplomat and diplomats of course are allowed to be armed and that uh, she might be saying don't shoot him. Now and, well, initially, not, I don't now, I don't now, but for the first two days there was that's, this ambiguity, I, I put it out there, there was an ambiguity which said don't shoot him, don't shoot him. And somebody said, did you hear that? And the idea was that he could have been armed. Now, I don't think he was, we know who he is, we know who they are, and they seem to be pretty low level little things. Um, but for the first two days it was pretty scary. 
and I did go fly it. <laughs> I don't think so now because the video has got so much attention. I mean, the oxygen of publicity actually provides you with a safety net. Down. They've already taken down the Hong Kong channel, the Free Hong Kong guy. And uh, they really, but I've asked everyone who's watching this to download the video. I've relinquished the copyright on the video. Um, so if it's taken down by YouTube, um, let's have a mass upload to YouTube. It's a, pri a, pri a privacy complaint. They, they say they, they don't have their permission. Look, it's a load of BS. Okay, but they've sent it through. They want the video taken down. But every, every time they try to see it against me, the video gets bigger. Right, so I've got, I've got three million videos. Enjoying all our freedoms, enjoying our restaurants, enjoying our culture, enjoying our music, enjoying our clubs. You know what I mean, you too. Don't say anymore, much, much. But they adopt an authoritarian mindset. So this is the paradox. They, they, their bluff has been called. They have totally lost face. I've heard in Chinese culture the concept of losing face is quite big. These guys have totally lost face. I don't know if they can ever show themselves in public again, particularly in the Chinese community. But yeah, pretty good. Any more questions? I have. This is a good time. I'll be honest, I've had some really sinister emails. Right? I've had some. Really, which I haven't revealed. Really sinister, threatening emails. Right? I have. I have. And I haven't had things on the dark web and all sorts of stuff. I haven't, I haven't said it publicly simply because. Low-level CCP propagandists, um, you know, associated with them. But I have had several threatening letters. What will be will be. God is in control. That, that, that's all I'm social media for such a long time. I've had some, you know, I, I kind of take a lot of social media with a pinch of salt. I think if you weren't used to social media or YouTube, you would have been more I'll leave, I'll leave that. If the video goes down, I might be able to do it. I'm just not going to do it. I don't think they're genuine. And uh, the information about the people involved doesn't come out. They don't seem to be uh, too threatening. I'll, I'll just leave it for that. Any other questions? All right. All right. Anyway, thank you very much. I, I, I know. I, I know they do. I mean, it's, it's like, look, 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 So Winnie the Pooh is like garlic to a vampire when you come to these little things and these CCPs. So as I said, I'm not a politician. I have no intention of becoming political. I've just been forced into it. It's the power of the arts, particularly popular arts like Winnie the Pooh, Boogie Woogie, and dancing at the piano. Titan potatoes. Unbelievable. And the arts, remember, the arts have power. The arts... Um, can often do more communist like today, so I think I'm okay, and uh, I'll leave it at that. Who's, who, who, has, who has the Winnie the Pooh? I don't want to take, yeah, there you go. Anyway, I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave it at that. So, actually, I might do one more song before we go. Yeah. I might, yes, let's do one more Good song. Good idea. Let's wind up the CC let's go, bacon. Let's go, 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 let's
come next to me. Don't be. Don't worry. I can't have people right there. We need security to check it out. I'll do one more song with you. We need the I'm losing my voice. Actually, shamefacedly, actually took away the barriers and then they moved it as well. 
uh, but now it's back into its old place. So um, a lot of people got shamed over this incident. The British Transport Police didn't come too well out of this because they immediately took the side of the CCP and the little pigs. Um, it's all on my show. And also, the ability to film in public is so important. If I wasn't able to film, I'd absolutely be up by now uh, because I'd have no evidence to support my side of the story. And if you notice, one of the things of the video was you're not allowed to film. The police lady said you're not allowed to film, turn off your camera. I'm filming, but you can film. So you need to film the to be able to film the encounter because the camera never lies. As I said, they are desperately trying to get the video taken down for YouTube. And I've had a third strike in the video. I don't know why it's still up but it is. Uh, it's uh, been a major embarrassment to the CCP propagandists. Um, so what may is the youngest day here and what may freedom of expression when? Um, I'm going to leave it at that because I think I'm going to sound like some sort of politician. I didn't mean to be, but I kind of feel quite strongly about it, you know. So I don't want, like I said, I don't want to be a politician. Uh, I don't want to be political. I just want freedom of expression. I just want to engage in all forces which try to shut me down like the piano. That's what I'm trying to do. So freedom of expression, let's be free. I've made my speech now, so there you go. I've got them on my soapbox, you know. How's everybody doing? I'm not going to get anyone in trouble. Yeah, the stump corners got to social media. I think I'll be able to Oh, we've got 2,000 watching. Uh, don't forget, guys, if you've enjoyed the stream, put one in the chat if you've bashed the like button. And for more content, do subscribe for future content. So that's it guys, Brendan Kavanagh live at King's Cross St Pancras in London for a quick uh, bit of piano playing and um, say his side of the story. I will clip and cut and make into smaller videos this live stream. Uh, so you don't have to go through one hour's worth of uh, footage you get in two minutes or three minutes so thank you to everybody for joining the stream today thank you to everybody for bashing the like button and putting one in the chat um, thank you to all the new subscribers um, I'll be live again uh, in the next few days for more music mayhem and public events public meetups and maybe Terry Miles will do another um, public performance next week. <laughs> Haven't been able to read the chat because um, uh, I've, I've had the camera over everyone's head. Uh, so yeah, so thank you to everybody for joining the stream today. That was Brendan Kavanagh live at King's Cross St Pancras in London. Um, so yeah, so thank you to everybody for joining. Thank you for uh, the likes bashed. Uh, new subscribers, you'll see a lot more on this channel in the next few weeks. Um, expect another live stream uh, within seven days. 
I'm also going to be doing a, a discussion with HK3 V in the next few days. So smash the uh, bell and uh, and yeah. So thank you everybody. I'll catch you all again soon. Happy New Year as well.